Hello everyone here, Michael here, and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we'll be talking about the most seamless transition. So this is not a new transition, it's been in the film industry for a long time, it's been used in uh, popular Hollywood movies and YouTube videos, but if you're not using this transition, I highly suggest you do. Last week I was watching Sam Colder's newest video, Hate Him, and I noticed that he wasn't using any of his trendy transitions like the zoom in or the whip pan. Uh, which people think are the most seamless transitions he was actually using a simple mask match cut and that's what we're going to be talking about today here's a sequence where he used this transition for every transition from clip to clip it's more people who come alive <laughs> this girl you'd be proud of me man as you saw that was Sam Colder's go-to transition in the video now let me show you how you can create this transition it all starts in camera there are two versions of this transition version a an object from clip a wipes the screen and reveals clip B and version B where clip B has an object that comes into and wipes away the clip a and shows clip B this transition can be done in any editing software that can create masks. That includes Premiere Pro, After Effects, and any other software that includes the pen tool. I'll be doing this in After Effects, and if you use a different software, you can still follow along as the process is basically the same. Okay, I'm here in Adobe Premiere Pro, and I have my clip set up, so this is option A and this is option B. So on top is the clip that we're going to be transitioning into from. So my mask is going to start around here, so that's why I have my clip underneath it the clip that i'm going to be transitioning into it's underneath select your clips right click and replace with after effects composition i'm going to start where my mask should start and i'm going to click on the clip that's on top and get the pen tool all right so in after effects as you can see once i've finished drawing my mask um it's going to reveal the clip that's on the bottom and you don't want that so what i'm going to go is into here into masks and instead of add you're going to change that to subtract and in premiere pro it's not going to be subtracted you're going to have to select inverted all right in premiere pro you're going to click inverted but in after effects you're going to select subtract and from now on you're going to go to uh, masks you're going to drop that down and you're going to select keyframes for mask path and i'm going to go to the next frame by pressing page down you're gonna just drag out your mask to your subject like this and you're gonna have to do the whole video clip like this so this is gonna take some time you're gonna have to do this frame by frame but um, the end result is very nice it's like so and now I finished this part so I'm gonna press page down again to my next keyframe select my mask uh, and keep drawing just keep stretching it out when you're at the end and your subject has disappeared then just drag out your mask so it's away from your video clip okay so it should look something a little bit like this now this is looking pretty good already but just to make it a little bit better we're gonna go into these settings and basically you're gonna want to just feather it a bit not too much but feather it pretty good so just depending on your clip don't look at my numbers and then just expand it maybe like 20, 15, 10, and then you're pretty much finished. And this is our finished product. So that was version A. Now let's take a look at how to create version B. It's pretty similar, just you're gonna change a couple of steps. Okay, now the process is gonna be pretty much the same. We're just gonna be changing a couple of things. So this is version B. Okay, so this is clip A, and I'm not gonna do anything with this clip. Just leave it. We're gonna focus on this second clip. So we can see that my subject is already starting to come in from over here. So I'm gonna draw. So I'm gonna draw a mask around this. You can you can click and hold to draw circular masks, and then hold Alt and click to get rid of that. There we go. And we're gonna make sure that it's on Add. So in version A, we changed it to Subtract, but in this version, we're gonna be keeping it at Add. And in Premiere Pro, when you're gonna be doing this, you're not gonna be selecting Invert. You're just gonna be keeping it the way it is. And now it's the same process. We're gonna select keyframes for mask path and just go frame by frame and slowly uh, uh, make this thing come in. 
to make it a little easier while you're drawing this you can switch it to subtract that way it's easier for you to see the object that you're masking out and later change it to add it's up to you but i just prefer to do this just adjust my mask in subtra and subtract and then just change it to add after the fact all right so once you're gonna be done this is what um this is what it should look like Now it's just a little rough around the edges, so a way to fix that is just like what we did in the other one. We're going to open it up, go to masks, and we're going to feather it, and then we're going to expand it just a bit, not too much. So this isn't the best masking that I've ever done, but it gives you the main idea of how you're going to make this effect. And once you master it, like, let's see, Sam Calder and Brandon Lee, once you master this transition, that's when it becomes the most seamless transition because people, some people won't even notice it. Unless you're a video editor, people won't notice it because it's that seamless. So this transition may take some time to create, but in the end, it's a pretty cool effect and it's used by many creators, including Hollywood films. So yeah, I hope you guys learned something from this tutorial. Okay, I hope you learned the basics of this effect and you will now use the basics that I taught you to use your creativity and make this transition yours. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys next week, Wednesday.